here on my Mac computer and I need to transfer these files to my PC. And they're too big to email. You can see this video file is 164 megabytes, so I can't email it. And I need to transfer it. The first thing we need to do if we're going to share files from another computer, Mac or PC, to this computer, is we need to create a folder. So we go to the Windows File Explorer and go to this PC, go to the hard drive. You'll see all these folders here, and we, we can create a folder right here if we would like to give access to anyone on this computer, and that would be fine. If you want to just have it accessible to just your account, you would come into the users folder, find your account, and you would create a folder here. Let's start one right here at the base level. This is the root of the drive. Right click in the white area and choose new folder. We will name this new folder Share One. We will then right click on the Share One folder. In Windows 11, we have to choose Show More Options. In Windows 10, you'll just get this menu. Here we will click on Give Access To. And then we will go ahead and click Specific People. Now here we will, we will take the defaults and just click Share so that we are the only one with access to this folder on the network. On the pop-up, I prefer to choose no to keep this network connection private. And now our folder is shared and we click done. Okay, I remember this is share one, I close this. Now, the next thing we need to do is make sure we know what the IP address is of this computer so that we can type that in to connect to it. Now, we do not want to go to Google and ask Google what your IP address is. That will give you the wrong IP address. That will give you the router's IP address. But if you want to do it quickly, you can come to the command prompt and type IP config, enter. And this is the IP address that your router assigned this computer on your personal network. 192.168.1, and then your number will be slightly different, but this is the IP address that you'll need to use connecting to this computer. Now I created my shared folder on my PC, and now I just need to connect to my PC. So when we're here at the Finder, we will go to the Go menu and say Connect to Server. This connection window comes up, and we will type SMB colon slash slash and then we'll put the IP address of the PC in which we looked up when we opened the command prompt which was 192.168.1.56 then click connect my username happens to be on this Mac the same as it is on the PC simple tech dad but whatever the Windows account name is is what you put in the in the name and then the password is your Windows password. So I'll go ahead and type that in and I'll say connect. Notice that it finds that folder called share one. Click OK. And it connects. And I have two tabs here and I can separate that out and make it a separate window. So I take these files right here, highlight them, copy them from my Max downloads folder over to the share folder and you notice it copies them. If I come over on my PC I'll see the files they will appear and it doesn't have any details on them until the copy is complete. Now it's copying almost 180 megabytes and it's over the wireless in my house to the wired PC. Okay, I look over on the Mac, it shows that the copy finished. I come here, I have the details, and double click, it opens the files. You can see the pictures. And we have all of our files copied from our Mac over to our PC. I can move these files out so they're no longer here, put them on my desktop or wherever I need them.
So I have a PDF file here on my PC that I want to have access to on my Mac. So I find this file, happens to be in my downloads. I'll copy it from my downloads folder, put it in my shared folder, close this window. Now I'll go over onto my Mac and get that file. If I watch the share folder on the Mac side, I will see the PDF file appear. Notice when I drag it to the desktop, it makes a copy and leaves the original back on the shared folder. I'd like to disconnect from the PC now. From the Finder, I click the Go menu, and then I click Computer. I will then see the SharePoint there. I highlight the SharePoint, I go to the File menu, I click File, and I click Eject. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is on the Finder. On the Side menu, I find the little Eject arrow, and I click that, and that will eject the SharePoint. And that should do it for the tutorial today. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you transfer files from your Mac to your PC and from your PC back to your Mac.